Hey guys, I have an incredibly busy day today. Um, aside from like, I had to go to the gym today because I go on every other day. And after that, I have to go do some groceries because I have no food at home. Then I have to come back. I've done my hair already so I can take a picture to put up on Instagram today of the outfit that I'm going to wear tonight so that I can do the video tomorrow. Um, but I'm just like so tired. I feel like by the time I walk around in the grocery and come back home, I'm going to feel super exhausted. But I want to give you guys a good picture. So I'm going to try to do that when I get back from the grocery store. Then I'm going to try to eat some lunch, take a nap, maybe do some style research as to how I'm going to complete my look and outfit for tonight. And then we're going to head out to Cirque. I am super excited. This party sounds off the hook. And I can't wait for you guys to see my friend Angel because she is one of my oldest friends. And she's just bomb as fuck. And I'm super excited. Stay tuned. Guys, so this is my beautiful friend Angel, and she is giving you gothic, queen of the damned vibes, <laughs> and I'm giving you Jughead vibes, I guess, because I was going for prom queen, but my crown is not diamante enough, so <laughs> I am just gonna give you Claire's and like, you know, use it as a substitute. So we're heading um, to Cirque right now, and we're super excited. Let's hope the night goes well. Death by design of the devil wearing Prada, my bitch wearing nada, getting so hot, I don't mean to be dirty, but fuck it, I am, you love it, I'm courteous with the romance, I promise I'm better than all of your mans, bet I can do it if all of them can, bet I come through with the pack in the can, fuck it up, fuck it up, do it again, fuck it up, fuck it up. is supposed to be about how to get ready for a costume party I thought I would take you guys on a little step-by-step -step of my routine so let's get started um personally I firstly before I start I think it's very important to respect costume affairs because when somebody invites you to a party and they say it's a costume I think it is so tacky when people show up with no costume especially men um, wearing a costume doesn't mean you're silly or you're gay. It just means that you have good breeding <laughs> Because you should respect the fact of you should respect your host enough to show up in a costume and respect the dress code It's akin to showing up at an event wearing booty shorts when the dress code is you know semi-formal or formal like just, You don't do that and if you do please get the fuck out like I I don't I don't want you watching my channel or even listening to me um, so, aside from that, when I, when I typically receive an invitation to a costume party, the first thing I do is hop on Pinterest and Google a few images according to the theme. So let's say the theme is 90s, I hop on Pinterest, Google 90s, and you get all these images. I don't have to tell you guys about Pinterest, but I'm just, you know, going through my routine. Um, so you get all these inspirational images, fashion editorials from the 90s, and you just look at these images and you, you're, something goes off in your mind. You know, even if you're the least creative person, you'll see a visual and you can then kind of incorporate that into your look. Someone's here. Gotta stop for two seconds. Guys, okay, so I had to pop out for two minutes to get my beard and my hair in check, so I'm gonna be vlogging after I get back home. about getting ready with me but can we just take a moment to acknowledge what a genius my hairdresser is because I am loving my hair like there's so much volume in it and it looks super cool I absolutely love it I die I live for Hamza at 1847 he is my man okay now back to the video hey I'm finally back I'm so sorry that took so long I had a huge conversation with one of my friends and then I had to go to the salon and as you guys can see, I know it looks really big from this angle but like it's actually super cool 1847, Hamza is my man, he's a genius, he's amazing, he is the messiah, I'm in love Okay, let's get back on track Um, let me go to the cigarette 
So, once I'm done with Pinterest, Pinterest, look, I said it again. Once I'm done with Pinterest, what I do is I go into my closet and I see what I can use to then match that inspiration. You know, I think people always think, especially men think when it's costume, you have to go out there and you have to buy yourself this avant-garde costume. I suppose for Halloween, yes, but then for your ordinary everyday run-of-the-mill Halloween party, you can just go into your closet and see what item can best give you the look that you are inspired by, which is why it helps to have a visual via Pinterest. Um, so once you pick you know, your theme, let's say it's the 90s or like, or the 60s, for example, you know, bell bottoms, flared patterns. Um, you go into your closet and see what you have. For the case, uh, for this example, I'm going to say 60s, obviously. Um, you know, you go into your closet and you pick a printed shirt. You don't necessarily need to have bell bottoms, but you can wear baggy jeans, or if you don't have baggy jeans, I mean denim, paired with a pair of Converse and, you know, a print. And then try to kind of do something cool with your hair and if you have a shaved head that's fine because you still look good you still look sexy and you're giving us the costume vibe you know so what i do is i then go into my closet for example for um the event i went to last night after my varsity jacket i wore these like the denims that i wear everywhere um with a belt and i wore adidas trainers and I just that was my look and I had a crown that I had bought because like you guys know that I'm obsessed with crowns and I put it on my head and what I was actually going for was prom queen get it prom queen yeah um but when I put the crown on my head it was giving me all kinds of Riverdale vibes and I have never watched this show but I have read Archie comics growing up and I just thought oh my god it's so funny because I look just like Jughead like it's not Jughead in the show but like you know a crown on my head the varsity jacket I look like Jughead like it's so funny um, so once I put on the outfit, obviously I did my hair before, skincare, and that's, that's pretty much, you know, how I get ready, and I hope, I know it's a very simple kind of situation, but at the same time, the simplest things in life are often the most complicated, if that makes sense, you know? Um, it's basically, so just to give you guys a quick run through, what you have to do is, if you have a costume party, hop on Pinterest, get an inspirational image, go into your closet and see what you can work with to best incorporate that look. And you d really don't have to go out there and buy yourself anything. Yes, if I didn't have the crown, you know, I probably wouldn't have given you any kind of costume vibes, but I was still giving you a retro vibe and retro is a costume, you know, like nobody really tucks, like wears their jeans high waisted and like, yes, it's coming back into fashion, but it is totally retro. So I hope this video was informational for you guys and cute and funny and just, you know, helped you a little bit. Let me know your thoughts and comments feedback and everything below and please remember to subscribe to my channel because I have a lot of exciting ideas and a lot of new things that I would like to share with you guys so please make sure you subscribe. I love you guys. Peace out.